Hey guys, so I am 13 weeks pregnant and 13 is my lucky number so that actually paid off and this week was a really super duper easy week for me. Last week in my videos I mentioned two of my main symptoms were the fact that at 8 o'clock at night I would start feeling like a garbage can <laughs> for the rest of the night and that was really really difficult for me because I work at night at my job and so sometimes it really sucked. And the other one was that I was having these crazy heart, you know, issues where my heart was like beating really fast. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about both of those. I actually have been feeling great. Knock on wood. Cross your fingers for me. I've been feeling really good. Um, I'm no longer having that sort of wave of nausea and, um, you know, just terrible feeling at in the evenings anymore, which has been really great. I'm not any less tired though, so don't let that fool you. I'm probably not going to be any less tired though for like the rest of my life. <laughs> I already have one kid, I'm about to have two, and um, I'm pretty much probably going to be this tired for at least like five years. So I have been tired and that's kind of sucked, but it's been better because it's a whole lot more manageable to just be tired than to be feeling like I'm going to vomit everywhere when I am supposed to be managing a restaurant. I mean, there are times when I still feel like crap, uh, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, I'm feeling pretty good. The second one, I will say about, the, about my heart pounding situation, that one's not getting any better. I do kind of think that it might be anxiety. Um, I have noticed that if I get really upset or stressed out, which, happens a lot because I'm pregnant and I get stressed out about stupid stuff all the time that I tend to start feeling that directly after. Um, so it might be anxiety. I did have an anxiety issue. Um, I did have anxiety issues when I was like 19. Um, the Right before I got pregnant with Cadence, I was having some anxiety issues. Didn't really know what they were at the time until much later. But it kind of reminds me that. It's almost like you're breathing really deep breaths and someone is holding plastic wrap over your face. Like you're just, you, it's like you can't get enough air. And your heart is like beating really fast. And um, it happens randomly, but it also, it happens more and for a longer period of time if I'm upset about something. Um, it has, though, been a pretty easy week for me, like I said. Um, besides all that, I'm kind of trucking into the second trimester, starting to feel better, starting to be, you know, that happy pregnant person who nobody can tell if they're pregnant or if they just ate too many jelly donuts. Um, I'm kind of starting to look like that. People at work are starting to notice that I'm pregnant um, or tell me, you know, sometimes they can see my little, my little bump, have my own little things that I'm stressed out about. But if I wasn't pregnant, they probably wouldn't be big deals. I just tend to make things a lot bigger deals in my head now that I'm pregnant. Um, so for the most part, life is good. Um, we are still on track to close on the house in the middle of April, and my mom's getting ready to come down, and there's some other exciting stuff that I will be able to share with you guys in time. I just haven't decided what I'm going to tell the world yet. Um, next week, I am taking vacation, so I get a whole seven days where I don't have to go to work. We are going to North Carolina during that time, though. Um, it is Tim's grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary, so we're going to truck back on up there to North Carolina to go see them for that. I do want to do a first trimester q and I'm going to try to do one with at the end of each trimester with all the frequently asked questions or new questions or, um, you know, questions that people have for me. So if you have any questions, I've been having a lot of questions, so I thought it'd be good to do a frequently asked question or a Q&A video or something like that. So. Just, if you have questions for me, post them down below and I will answer them in my video. One other piece of exciting news is I bought my very first piece of maternity clothing this week. Um, as you know, I manage a restaurant and I have a strict dress code. I have to wear black dress pants and dress pants don't really have a whole lot of give. I did order a pair of maternity pants. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't tried them on yet. I'm not sure that I can bring myself to do it because I don't really feel big enough to have maternity pants yet. But I did order them, so I do have them. So I'm going to try them out. Maybe tomorrow I have to work. So I'm going to try them out and see how it goes. Um, but really, guys, that's about it. I know I feel like this is a really short pregnancy vlog, but not that much exciting stuff has happened. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, post that down in the comment section below. If this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, 
What up? Thank you for watching. If you're totally confused, check out the about me in the description box below. That should set you straight, give you a little bit of backstory about me, about my boyfriend Tim, about my daughter Cadence, and our life. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week for week 14. Whoa, I'm getting, I'm, we're on this pregnancy train and we are just trucking. Bye.